Hello everybody, welcome. I went up to the shop the other day and I bought this by mistake. Save the crust. Uh, I suppose we got a sweet one. But obviously that was in the wrong oil. I mean I didn't have my glasses, I don't see whether I read it wrong or what, I don't know. Well anyway, I thought what can I do with it? Well I thought well I'll make a quiche. I've never ever made a quiche, ever in my life. I love quiche, I always eat it. Just shop bought one, but I've never made one. So let's try and make one. Now I've prepared a few ingredients. So let me show you what I've done. Right, it's what I've done. I've chopped myself some tomatoes up. I've fried myself some bacon up. Smoky crispy bacon. Some onions. I've got four eggs. I'm going to have a 200ml of that. Double cream. 100ml of milk. So I've never ever made one before. Oh, and I've also got... Some grated cheese. I've never made one before, but I thought instead of taking that back to the shop, I might as well try and make one. See what the, see what happens. So let's get that open first. I mean, I don't know how hard it is, and it shouldn't be hard to make a quiche, should it? Surely to God. But I'm not saying I've never made one, so there's the base anyway. Like so. So we're going to get some grated cheese. Can you see that top? Let me move it a bit. There you go. We'll get some grated cheese on there. Get it in the bottom. So I'm just going to play it by ear and just see what happens. That's all. I'm going to just put my, con my stuff in, all my stuff. My tomatoes, just get it in. So the pies aren't very deep though, you know, so. Bacon. Nice and crispy bacon, I love crispy bacon, me. Some onions. That's all that bit. Now. This is the fun bit, which I've never done before, so I'm just going to play it by ear. I'm going to stick some milk in. 100 ml. Uh, double cream, I don't know. Half of it, maybe. Play it by ear and see. Yeah, just over half, I think. That'll do on that. I'm going to get the eggs in. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard, should it, to make a quiche, really? I wouldn't have thought so. And I'm just going to mix it. Get my mixer together. Move that out of the way. Get that on. I'm just going to mix, just get it all incorporated or whatever, I don't know, I'll bring you back when that's done. Well, I'm going to add some salt and pepper now, so I've never ever made the quiche before, ever in my life, so this is going to be interesting for me, salt and pepper, another 30 second stir. So I'm just going to pour it in here and hope for the best. I might have had too much cream here or not enough eggs, I don't know. There's that, there's loads of that left, look. I think I've gone a bit over the top there, you know. I put a bit of cheese on top. I think I should, shouldn't I? Well, that all soaking, I don't know. Put a bit of cheese on top so that melts. I'll stick it in the oven, I don't know how long for, maybe half hour. And I'll keep it on it. And we'll see what happens. Bring you back in a bit. Right then, you ready for this? First time ever making a quiche. There we go. I don't think that's turned out too bad. I've let it cool down, still a little bit warm. 
first time ever making one, I say pre bought pastry though. Well, it looks nice. What the point is, does it stay together when you cut it up? Let's have a look. Or does it all fall apart? There's a sharp knife. Moment of truth. Is it cooked in the middle? Let's have a look. There we go. Looks quite nice actually. Loads of cheese in it. Loads of cheese. Loads of cheese. I'm being chuffed with that for the first time. Yeah. Let's get out a taste test. Right, there we go. First time ever, so we're going to see what it tastes like. And Natalie's going to try it, but she's not coming on because she's not very well. She's still in the jammers. So she's up the table. I've given her a slice because she only likes quiche warm. I like mine cold. So I probably won't enjoy this as much as when it's cold. But we're going to taste it anyway. Go ahead, Bab. Taste it. It smells amazing. Smells good, does it? Oh, it it does smell nice. Really nice. Oh. oh, that's perfect. It's perfect. Oh my god, that's so nice. That's oh, so tasty. I like that. Oh. That's stunning. You've done a good job there. That's stunning for first time ever making one. I say you're buying from the shop. That is really tasty. That is really, really nice. Oh yes. That's perfect. You see really it? Tasty. So the is already pre-bought, isn't it? So it's just mixing the stuff together. So it ain't hard, is it really? That's really nice. I mean, you've got the ingredients in your in your cupboard. It's cheap as anything. But otherwise, if you're buying bacon and eggs and cream and it becomes expensive then doesn't it so that's why you usually buy shop ones because you can give a shop one a powder i think for one and a half quid or something but all that green has probably come to about four pounds for that but there you go you like that mm. you've had it all already ain't you very nice yeah there you go and natalie likes it i like it i like it even better when it's cold but i say i am the old food guy thank you for watching but give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time. See you later. Bye bye. Just eat a bit more of this now. Mmm. Mm. That's lovely. That's lovely. Mmm. Mm. A, a bit of salad with that on a warm day. It's great, it's isn't it? Really nice. Bye bye. Say like that.